This is the demonstration of the Heathkit HO13 pan adapter. It was manufactured from 1964 to 1966 and sold in kit form for $79. It's listed in my Heathkit book as quite rare. This item gives a picture of band activity up to 100 kilohertz wide. Signals are displayed as pips on the screen. As you tune the receiver, the pips move across the screen. Supposedly, you can identify open frequencies in a band without, without having to tune around. We'll put that to the test later. The ARRL International DX Sideband Contest is on. This unit was built for 455 kilohertz IF frequency. I'll list the other options that were available in the description below. Before you buy an HO13, find out what IF it has been wired for. To rewire a new IF, you will need the manual and the parts, which will be hard to find. In 1966, the HO13 was put into an SB style cabinet and renamed the SB620. The HO13 is almost indistinguishable from the matching HO10, which I put right on top of it temporarily. And There you can see they're almost indistinguishable. The receiver I'll be using is a National NC400. Now this has an IF of 455 kilohertz, but it does not have an RCA connector on the back. It has an SO239. So this is what I uh, convoluted up to uh, adapt it. I have this mail-by-mail uh, -mail adapter, this SO239 to RCA Phono, an RCA Phono Y, and then the Phono cable. So we're going to put this in here. We'll put this in here, and this in here. Then I'm going to put this on the back of the radio, and then we'll try out the uh, AM broadcast band, and then uh, some AM shortwave bands, some uh, AM ham radio operators, and then we'll try uh, single sideband. Okay, I have it on the AM broadcast band, but the radio is in standby. Let's put it in receive. For elected officials, business leaders, artists, and neighbors, host Kevin Ellis and Pat McDonald. Okay, I'm at the bottom of the uh, AM band. I'm at AM 550. I'm in uh, Essex Junction, Vermont, and this is in Waterbury, Vermont. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the tuner. And you can watch the pips move across the screen. I'm gonna have to turn the gain up a little. Dave Packer, ABC News. Former President Trump is again trying to block an infamous recording from an upcoming defamation trial. Yeah, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. The 2005 video recording of Donald I have to, uh, to then access Hollywood host Billy Bush move the gain down and up as I go through here, depending upon how strong it is. Try to turn the gain up here. I think I went the wrong way. Defense wants to keep the tape out of the Okay, I just uh, turned the selectivity down a little bit to get to make it look a little more smooth. Well, <laughs> if, if I were going to look at the... No, it's not that. I was going to say... Um, I wonder why I have flat I lines like that at the top. Over, over two years, but since my I, I was listening to some AM uh, ham radio operators a minute ago, and it doesn't flatline like that at the top. The F-150 Lightning Electric works in partnership with the Tempe, Arizona. Unless they comply with the state. So this helps you center the frequency too. Of course, you got to center this, which isn't hard to do. There's a bunch of adjustments on here. A little tricky to get used to. That's 
sounds like eight, AM 880 WCBS. Sounds like two stations fighting. On the other side, I mean, on, on the wide receiver. Now turn the game down. That's a local station. I got to turn the game back up. Okay, I'm at the end of the sweep on that. That's about a half of the uh, AM band, so I'll go up two clicks. Two. You know what? I didn't center the, the indicator here. So I am on 80 meters. See if I can find some AM guys talking. I did earlier. There now. Works fine. You know, no problem at all. But, um, I, 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 when I had the Jennings on there, it, it worked too, but because it was a thousand puff instead of 500, this is 500, it, it, it didn't. It oh, that didn't is flattened out at the top. The, on the higher bands like this one does. Well, yeah, because you had more capacities that you needed, and yeah, and so, it, yeah, made it a little touchier to tune it. Now I'll try, uh, in short waves. <laughs> I'm in the area of 6 megahertz, approaching 6.0. Political power rests inherently with the people, collectively. That's 6.0 on the radio. I don't know if it's Radio Havana, Cuba or not, but it's 6.0 on the radio. The pip gain is all the way down, so sometimes I have to turn down the gain on the radio. Whoopsie daisies. And I'm, I got the uh, filter on sharp. Let's see what happens if I widen it. It gets a little sloppier. I kind of like the way it looks on sharp. Okay, we'll tune some more. Yeah, I think I've about run out of people there. So now I'll try a little sideband, but I'm gonna have to tune it in first. Soon enough, I can usually catch the band before it. Uh, it let, tonight it was opened up uh, pretty late. I, I heard uh, signals coming in. He's talking about 10 um, meters. Up until about an hour or so ago, and it was still still going on. And I think there's a contest. This one's not uh, flat at the weekend. top. And uh, some probably a DX uh, contest going on. So so that'll be interesting. Uh, this is 40 meters AM. The, uh, 10 meter bands like more where I've been hanging around too in the early evenings.
So I set the so coarse tuning to 7.3, and then I used the uh, band spread, but I, and I, I came down a little on, bit from the red mark. There. The red mark is 7.3, and I caught these uh, guys yeah, on the AM. The are uh, pretty good. I'll, I'll probably get on through the day uh, on here on 40, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, back to you there. Okay, right for XP. This is N3 TBW. You can hear the sidebanders in there. So, let me pause this again and I'll find a sideband signal. Well, I couldn't really pull in a signal on the contest part of the band because it just this radio just couldn't handle it. But I found a couple of guys rag chewing. Sounds like they're starting to end the rag chew. You can see how the signal now is over to the left of center. I didn't recenter it. That's probably because it's uh, on sideband. So that's it briefly on sideband, and that's a demonstration of the Heathkit HO13 pan adapter. Thank you for watching.